From a bird's eye view, the water near the Blue Heron Bridge in Riviera Beach is one of many beautiful sights close to the Florida coastline. But just below the surface, it is a major attraction for thousands of snorkelers and divers each year. The extremely rare and unique animals that can be found at this bridge, batfish, frogfish, seahorses, um, has developed this area into a world-class diving destination. Jim Abernathy is a local dive expert and conservationist. He's been diving here for nearly 50 years. Abernathy says he's saddened over what happened here last week. Basically, three professional tropical fish collectors have been at Blue Heron Bridge for a week, diving probably eight hours a day, removing thousands of animals. Kind of like a Abernathy shared this video of what he says are divers collecting tropical fish and the vehicle where they store them into tanks. Some of the video is at night, but most is during the day. You don't have to look far to find posted signs that say the commercial collection of tropical fish by any means is prohibited. Abernathy started this online petition. It has been shared thousands of times. He mentions three organizations he says are behind the collection. One of them, he says, is Moody Gardens Aquarium of Galveston, Texas. We called the aquarium and left several messages. On their Facebook page, a statement reads in part, Moody Gardens worked with Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission to acquire the necessary permits for this limited list of species and specimens and abided by all regulations the department has in place to protect Florida's natural resources. Please note, our staff felt pressured to release the specimens collected at this location and are on the way back to Galveston with the fishes and invertebrates they collected in other locations. We do hope you can understand we share your love of nature. My worst fear is that they've taken so much that it will take decades for this to ever be what it was just a week ago.